Historically, mining Bitcoin on Mac was not something very easily accomplished. There was limited software available to do so, and a lot of that was due to the fact that you can't really do a ton on a Mac with mining. That's a whole other video about where we talk about why you may not want to mine on a Mac, but mainly the GPUs aren't that great. But just the other day, Honey Miner came out with their Mac version of their mining software. I've been using Honey Miner for a while now on Windows, and if you're a beginner who knows absolutely nothing about mining but just wants to get into it, it is an incredibly simple and easy cryptocurrency mining software. You basically just turn it on, it picks the currency and the pool that is most profitable at that time and pays you out in Satoshis, which is their currency, and that is going to be converted to Bitcoin for you. So it is the best way to get started if you know nothing about mining. And lucky enough for us, the other day they just came out with the Mac version of Honey Miner. So I'll walk you through the setup process and I'll show you how to get started mining Bitcoin on a Mac. So first thing we'll do is go ahead and hit that link in the description below. This is a special link just for you guys where if you sign up and enter in your email address right here, you'll get 1000 free Satoshis. This is equivalent about six cents, but it's a little bit of something to get you started with. As a way of saying thank you for signing up for Honey Miner. So enter in your email address and click sign up now. So then we'll go ahead and download the Honey Miner software. It'll automatically detect that you're on a Mac and we'll go ahead and download this DMG right here. So all we have to do is open this up, agree to everything here, and then we'll go ahead and pretty much just drag and drop the app into our applications folder. And that's it. You have now installed your cryptocurrency mining software. We'll go ahead and open that up as soon as it appears right here. And from here, once it does open up, we'll go ahead and sign in with our account and it will import all of your earnings you may have made on a previous computer. You can have multiple computers running on the same account at a single time. And of course, it will show up with your free money. Now, as soon as we log in, it's going to start your mining right away. This little preview here will show you everything about what each of these are for. So you can take a look at all of those. But basically here we have our level, which kind of increases the amount of earnings you get. We can toggle the on off switch here. You can see how much money you've made on all the previous days you've been using this. I haven't used it in a while. And then we have our balance. We have 1,089 Satoshi so far, which is the equivalent of about seven cents. You can see your full history, which will take you to their website. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and click go and it will start running right away. Honey Miner is now on. If we click on the settings icon, as you can see, we have both GPU and CPU mining enabled. Now I'm on a 2013 Mac Pro, which has two GPUs. So it's actually gonna be a pretty decent machine for cryptocurrency mining. Now in a press release that I received from Honey Miner, they said that Honey Miner for Mac is designed to automatically detect the hardware in your machine. And it will pick which of the hardware combinations is gonna be most profitable. So that's a combination of your CPU and your GPU, or it could be one of each. And the point of this is to make sure that your system performs as it normally would at its highest capacity so you can still mine in the background, but also have your computer fully functional. If we go into settings, we can also change a couple of settings like earning only when idle. So when we are doing stuff, it'll turn this off. And when we're idle, it's going to start mining. That is a decent way to have this going all the time if you want. And again, you can have multiple computers running. As you can see, we have our GPUs and our CPUs currently mining. As for payout, it's not the best on Mac, obviously. I've had much more success on a mid-range gaming computer than I have on my very expensive Mac Pro, but it's still a decent way to add a little bit more money to your cryptocurrency collection. It's a fun way to get started. And hey, it's the easiest way you can now mine on a Mac. So again, links will be down below if you want to sign up. Again, use that link to get 1,000 free Satoshis and you can get started mining on Mac and Windows. It's a very good piece of software, very simple to use and a great way for you beginners to get into cryptocurrency mining. 
So there you go. That is all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I will see you in the next one.